Hi everyone, uh, this is Kishar from appsdba.info. In the previous session, uh, we have seen that uh, we are having an application 12.13 with uh, 12c uh, database, which we are going to upgrade to 12.210 and the database upgrade from 12c to uh, 90c. That is a different uh, chapter, uh, different topic. But I covered uh, you know, most of the steps in this particular session. I also added uh, the custom top information, uh, which will be uh, which we are going to see after we upgrade to 12.210 how to handle a custom top. So this is our custom top information, and the application ID is uh, you know 20003, uh, and this is our custom top. So once uh, the uh, once we upgrade to 12.210, I'm I'm going to show you how to handle this custom top. This, this was specifically asked by a couple of uh, students uh, how to handle the custom top. So we in the 12.13 we have a custom top application and we are going to see how to migrate it to uh, 12.210. So after that you can on the database we have a couple of activities for collecting the dictionary statistics, fixed object and dictionary statistics. You can you can do this and also take a count of invalid objects uh, uh, before you can you can start. And after the upgrade, you can you know after after the upgrade, you can compare uh, how many invalid objects have been extra and the impact of it. There may be some invalid objects we cannot completely avoid, but you know what is the impact of it, right? So take a uh, account of invalid objects before the upgrade and then later on after the upgrade. So now uh, in this topic, what we are going to do is we are going to install Oracle eBusiness in an upgrade mode. The version what I'm using is uh, Rapid Wizard version is uh, 12.2.01. And on top of the existing, I also applied a patch. This is a new patch which is released by Oracle. This patch will reduce the uh, reduce the downtime for FS2 installation. So when you run the 12.2 uh, in an upgrade mode, it will basically create a file system. It will create the FS1, but FS2 will be almost empty if you apply this patch. So I provided the steps, and now uh, we are all set to. Uh, install the rapid wizard so you can you can check that uh, the version is uh, 12.201 on top of it we applied a patch which i mentioned now we'll run the rapid wizard in an upgrade mode so click next select the upgrade click next So uh, you need to uh, select create upgrade file system for the first time. After we applied the American driver, we again have to run the rapid wizard and select configure upgrade release 12.2 instance. So click next and here you have to select the same uh, database. So it's not 45, it's 45 and this should be 46. So what is your current, uh, what is your current, you just have to find out what is your yeah, so yours is uh, uh, you know, 45, 1566 minus 1521 is 45. So same thing we need to give here and the second file system will be FS2. So this is our instance is test or our test remaining looks okay. So a uh, few people use this use existing or a column, uh, but you need to take care of ETC patches and all or you can just uh, let it be unchecked. It will create the 12.102 an extra or a column. You can delete uh, once the installation is completed. You can uh, delete the uh, delete this particular Oracle home and use our existing Oracle home. Uh, so then you click next. Unable to write so because I think the this is wrong. Yeah, next. Uh, this looks good application details so basically uh, when you run in upgrade mode it's basically going to create the file system fs1 fs2 fsne um, and the oracle home so here give a password for the web logic and this is the os password remember this is the os password say next and now we validate it let's wait for some time i'll just mute the session yeah, so we have configured it and uh, now we are going to start the installation. If you observe what it will do, by now it would have been created the folders. Let us see. Yeah, so basically it will create this FS1, FSNE, FS2, 12.1.0. You can delete it after the installation if you want. And it would have also updated our Aura inventory. Okay, ensure that you have the permissions on that. So now what we will do, we will just say next. 
so this will take for a while so maybe up once the installation is completed we will catch up uh, once the installation is completed uh, you can see this particular particular screen and what we can do is we can verify the directories what has been created so the newly created uh, uh, directories are fs1 fs2 data 12102 or inventory and and fsne now if you want you can remove these two folders data and 1210 right now we don't need it because your database files are in different location and oracle home is totally different so with that uh, we have completed this particular uh, session in the next session we are going to apply the etcc patch on our database node so in this session we have uh, what we have done is we have installed uh, uh, oracle e-business you know oracle e-business in upgrade mode basically it is going to put the file system hope you like the session thanks for watching